Hey guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen and today we are watching season one, episode eight of Lost. I feel like I'm getting through this show pretty quickly, but also I feel like it's like I'm just eking along because I also just kind of want to sit down and binge the entire thing and I could do that. But I also want to <laughs> I don't want to get like so far ahead that I get something wrong for like 10 episodes, you know? So I'm trying to take it slow, take it in, let moments and characters and stuff sit with me so that I, yeah, so that I can just think more critically about it and have more informed opinions. Anyway, that being said, last time on Lost, we had Charlie's backstory which I found really interesting. Like I wouldn't have guessed the religious background. I wouldn't have guessed the brother and like how he got into the band. And I just thought it was a really cool episode. I really loved the moth reference and, well not reference, uh, like the story and the, the symbolism of it. I really liked that whole aspect of it. We also, not to bury the lead, we had Saeed get a signal. He received the signal, so he was able to, or would have been able to possibly track it down, figure out where it's coming from. But instead, he got hit over the head. He was bleeding, he was on the ground. We didn't see who hit him. The only two possibilities, I think, are that, although this island could be magical, so. Maybe there's more than two possibilities. Hi, Sam. <sighs> okay, three possibilities. Magical creature thing. Somebody from the plane that is more dubious than we realize. For what reason, I don't know. Or the third option, which I feel is the most likely, is that we are going to meet a new character, possibly multiple new characters, and that this island is not quite as deserted, bless you, as we kind of assumed. Although I did also kind of assume it could be inhabited. But anyway, I'm rambling. A lot more happened, but we saw it. We were there. We saw the last episode. So I'm not going to ramble too much about it. Let's get into this episode and see what happens next. You excited, Sam? You're laying on my notes. What's the book? Hell of a book. Oh, I had a feeling it was his stuff. Oh, is he naked? I feel like the way that they're shooting it, it's he's naked. It's about bunnies. It's too cold without your trunks. <laughs> you bet. How about you come a little closer? Warm me up. You sure know how to make a girl feel special, Sawyer. Incredible Sawyer. Oh, is this his backstory? Are we finally getting it? I love you. Oh, he said I love you. Damn it. Damn it. Baby, why don't you just, uh... No, just go. You, you go. <laughs> why are they at a... Hotel? Exactly supposed to see that. Why do you have a fucking briefcase of money, Sawyer? What are you doing in my stuff, son? This is gonna hurt. Okay, so we don't know who did it. You ready to tell me what happened? Oh. We were trying to find the source of the distress call. So I saw the flare from the They beach. hit him and then just left. They took the thing, probably. They destroyed the equipment? Yes. That's sus. Listen, we're going to figure this out, but don't do anything. I will do what I need to do to find the man responsible. Yeah, but are we assuming that it's somebody in we the We need some help over camp? here. Because, oh, Sawyer beat the shit out of him, didn't he? Morning delivery. Oh, you're sweet. Thanks. Mm. Well, I figured, in your condition, with the extra baggage, you know. Well, I can still walk. <laughs> Barely. Anyway, I worry about you out here, you know, it's... They would be cute. 
Shannon has asthma. Asthma? Yeah. Never seen her have an attack before. Because she had an inhaler. She just she sneaks hits when no one's looking. She's just she's been embarrassed about it since she was a kid. Guess breathing's not cool. If he has my book, he has my luggage. If he has the luggage, he has the inhalers. So you could have asked. If she has an attack, it's not gonna be good. If he's telling the truth, but also, again, he, he didn't just attack him out of nowhere. You attacked a kid for trying to help his sick sister. No, I whooped a thief because he was going through my stuff. Yours? Which I had What makes to it move yours? What, you think you can just take something out of a suitcase and that makes it yours? Look, I don't know what kind of commie share fest you're running over in Cave Town, but down here, possession's nine tenths. And a man's got a right to protect his property. Get out. I mean, I disagree with his stance, but also... <sighs> I found an investor in Toronto. He wants in 50-50. Two weeks, we'll be splitting almost a million bucks. Jess, this is my chance. So, is that his savings he's saying? There's another option. Yeah, what's that? That I give you the 160,000 and we split the profit. Yeah, and how in the hell are you gonna scare up 160,000 bucks? My husband. Oh, she's already married. I'm gonna kill him. That's not gonna help us Did get the know? medicine. Maybe not, but it'll feel good. So what's stopping will you? Will it? Will murder feel good, Jack? I'm not savage, Jaskeen. The irony. Not yet. The irony of 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 that conversation. What do you want for the inhalers? Oh, kiss ought to do it. Okay, what? no, that's gross. Kiss. You're being gross. From you, right now. You're being gross. Nobody's that disgusting. Seen you, you know. Seen me what? With that piece of paper. One you keep in your pocket. Ooh, I wonder if it's from the girl. Seen the expression on your face when you read it. How carefully you fold it up. It means something to you. So you can play games all you want. But I know there's a human being in there somewhere. I think I have- Shut up! Read it. Okay. Dear Mr. Sawyer, you had sex with my mother, and then you stole my dad's money all away. I mean, that's more. So he got angry, and he killed my mother, and then he killed himself too. Don't stop now. But that, how, how would that? Get to the good part. Okay, but that doesn't, this doesn't incriminate you the way that you think it does, Sawyer. All I know is your name. You killed my parents, Mr. Sawyer. But he didn't. That, that's a child's understanding, so Sawyer shouldn't internalize a child's understanding of a situation that they don't really understand. Not about that kiss. The kiss part is gross, but... I didn't think so. Okay, but surely Kate being a rational person, which she has been thus far, would be like, Sawyer, this is a child's understanding of a situation that they cannot fully comprehend. This is one side of a complex story, right? He couldn't have had the time to go Unless from us. He found a way to time delay the fuse on his rocket. How could he possibly have been? Anyone who watches television knows how to improvise a slow fuse. I watch television. Use a cigarette. Oh, I guess I probably could figure that out. But what would his motivation be? Because he wants to stay on the island? I don't think he wants to stay on the island that bad. Just next time. I still think it's somebody that we haven't seen. Give me the inhalers. Now. If he has them in Hell. his backpack. One of them you go stop asking nice. Oh, God. I don't like this. Well, it's about time, cowboy. Violence. He wants... Been telling you since day one we're in a while. I think you had it in you. I think he wants this because he feels guilt and he wants to be punished for his perceived crimes, like the woman he loves getting killed. <sighs> that all you got? Yeah, this is sad, actually. You know what? Let's not do this. I've got another investor who's already David. committed. I should cover lunch. Wait. So he knew that that would get him to do it. I mean, do you not crave anything? Pickles, a 
fried ice cream, chocolate. Peanut butter. I'm the only Australian who loves peanut butter. I can get you peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, sure you can. Yes, I can. And when I get you peanut butter, you have to vacate this sandy shore of depression and move to the caves. <laughs> Deal? How, how's he gonna get peanut butter? <laughs> okay. Help! She's not breathing! <sighs> the attacks are getting worse. You can do this, Shane. She's probably trying. You can do it. In through when the you're nose. you're panicking, it's really hard to... to do that. <laughs> you got your breath. Yeah, your color's coming back. See, I knew you could do this. You feel it? Yeah. It's passing. <laughs> okay. That was like a... Jedi moment. A Jedi moment. I thought you were a communications officer. Part of my training entailed getting the enemy to communicate. Mm, he tortured? Just give me 10 minutes with him. He'll give us the medicine. There's gotta be something. I mean, look at you. What the fuck's that mean? That guy whoring the food, is that what you think? No! It's just, we've been here for two weeks, you know, and you, you've not really... Slim down much? All I need is a bag of peanuts. I have no food, all right? And for the record, I'm down a notch in my belt. Oh. That was bad form. Yeah. I'm used to it. So it shouldn't have to not be. even a bag of Dude. Okay. Ah, ah that was nasty. Ah, damn. You know how bad that would smell? Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, asthma. Uh, yes, asthma. Uh, I think I can help her. Oh, how? Because she needs a more long-term solution than the inhalers anyway. Oh. Good morning. Oh. I just uh, very much disagree with this. Jack! This was Sawyer's choice, not mine. Oh. He asked to be tortured? I missed that section. I missed that bit. Hmm. Must have missed a scene. When the shoots are inserted underneath the fingernails. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Jack, can you please not do this? That's it? That's all you got? Splatters? No wonder we kicked your ass in the gulf. <laughs> to my place and tells me he left a hundred and sixty thousand of my hard-won dollars in the care of a civilian mm -hmm. i gotta ask myself if what i'm hearing so it wasn't his savings now you have my money plus 50 percent by noon tomorrow or i'll tell you all about it So was it all a scam, or is that also a facade that he puts on? I'm confused about Sawyer. Happy to tell you. He does. As soon as I get that kiss. Oh. I'm gonna... It's gonna be really hard for me to like him if he does this. Mm. I don't like it. I thought it would be like a peck. I, I was unaware that like all of this was gonna was gonna happen. I don't have it. Yeah. Went to drink with the rest of them. I need my stuff in the caves. My leather backpack. Go. Go. Why? What is he digging for? Don't leave me alone, okay? Yeah. Why don't you stay with her? 
Keep her calm. Are these the right ones? I, I think I found the right tree, but I, I'm Let just... Let me see. Oh, yes. Good. You know me wrong, what are you doing? Did he hear her? Or is he just upset that she's talking to talking to? Don't, ma'am. I'm telling you. Don't. There's the kid. Hi, baby. What are you doing up? Are you feeling better? Will you read to me? In a minute, sweetheart. We have company right now. Oh, the kid is guiltiness like he it's making him feel guilty you okay seeing the child and real deals off yeah why why was the child such a big deal to him though what what more is there to his past you're just a kid Eight, maybe nine years old. This letter wasn't written <gasps> to you. You wrote this letter. Oh. The name's not Sawyer, is it? <gasps> What's his name? He was a confidence man. Romance, my mama, to get to the money. Wiped him out clean, left a mess behind. Wrote it knowing one day I'd find him. Oh my god. Mm. That's why the but kid. That's a sad part. Came the man I was hunting. I came to saw you. I mean, she, she has a past too. Everyone does. Get out! He can't take it. I wonder what his name is. Like his actual name. Eucalyptus. <laughs> Smart Jack. Thank you. Very much. Peanut butter? No way! Just like you ordered. Where? Oh, there is one thing. It's extra smooth. That's okay. <laughs> it's empty. What? No. No, no, it's not. It's full. Full to the brim. With imagination. It's the best bloody peanut butter I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I'm leaving. I don't know for how long. Said you can't. You can't go by yourself. Somebody attacked you. What I almost did. He doesn't want to be that person. I swore to do never again. Yeah. But I can't keep that promise. I have no right to be here. I don't know why that's making me emotional. There's nowhere to go. Someone has to walk the shore and map the island. I was like, there's, See what else there there's is. a whole fucking island. What do you mean there's nowhere to go? I can't go? think of a better person to do it than the only one I trust. Himself. <laughs> oh, but I don't want him to go. I hope we follow him. I hope we meet again. No, I hope we follow him because I really like Saeed. We still haven't seen his backstory. I hope we follow him. With my person it sounds like you know he feels is responsible for the death of both of his parents so <sighs> okay so I feel like I know a little bit more about Sawyer after this episode however I also feel like there's so much that I still don't know 
about Sawyer after this episode, including like what the fuck his actual name is. So <laughs> that is interesting. I'm also like, I have mixed feelings about Sawyer because I think it's really shitty that he coerced Kate into kissing him, making her feel like she didn't really have a choice if she wanted to save someone's life. Um, now, I, I think he was doing it out of this weird desire for some sort of like comfort and closeness to somebody because I think based off what we what we did find out in this episode that he uh he probably has not truly been vulnerable with somebody in a very long time I think that he has a lot of issues obviously from his childhood he has been through a lot of trauma and I think that so much of the Sawyer that we know and that we see is just a facade of who he created and who he shows to the world rather than who he actually is because it was the way in which he was able to like build himself back up to survive right now that doesn't mean I agree with the things he does like I said the kiss with Kate was gross the fact that he wouldn't just that he didn't just immediately be like look I don't have the inhalers I don't like him being like it's my stuff even though it's not actually his stuff like if it's somebody else's that is still alive on the island I feel like he should just give it back to them because it's not his it's theirs but if it's somebody that's not alive then he did find it and so he should keep that I don't know I don't know I just like I said I have mixed feelings about Sawyer and I think that that's okay right because he's a person he's a he's a character and he's three-dimensional he's complex he's not all good or bad like most characters and people aren't and I just, I enjoy seeing the puzzle pieces and trying to put them together. I do also enjoy his interactions with Kate because for some reason he has decided to be somewhat vulnerable with her. And I wonder what it is about her that is allowing him to have those moments of vulnerability. Um, I mean, I think that Kate seems like somebody who does really understand people and is really sympathetic. In the last episode, was it the last one? I think it was the last episode. She was very much like jumping to conclusions and being like, I know exactly who you are. And that was frustrating because I'm like, do, do you after a week of not really interacting with this person and this is who they're showing you to be, but like people are so much more complex. So that was frustrating. So I'm glad that in this episode, she actually looked beyond the person that he's pretending to be and tried to figure out who he really is. And that she was able to realize that he, he does want to be punished, that he does feel like he doesn't deserve good things because of, he feels, as we know now, that he became the person that he hated as a child. Now, did he become the person that he hated because of what happened to him as a child? Like, is was that his way to like cope and move on? Like, I don't know. We're gonna have to keep learning more about his character. But yeah, I, I find him interesting. Abrasive and like a bit off-putting sometimes. But I, I don't know. There's something about his character that I think it's like the traumatized child that is inside him that I feel it really like tugs at my heartstrings. Like I think the person who he is underneath the facade that he's always playing is somebody that would be like worth getting to know and worth caring about. So I think that's how I feel about, about Sawyer. Now I have really... I don't know how I feel about Boone because we haven't seen like a ton of him in the past, but 
he's just had moments where I don't know he makes choices and then does things and says things that I'm like but why like rifling through all of Sawyer's stuff and then when he came back after Sawyer beat him up for rifling through his stuff which is kind of understandable in a way and then he tells Jack like oh he just jumped me but th th that's not the full story Boone you, like you, you left out a big part of it and so I don't know like I found that a bit frustrating and then yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel about him again like with Sawyer like with a lot of characters I'm gonna reserve my judgments for him for when I actually get to know more about him like I think that the way he takes care of his sister is is very endearing I like that aspect of him the fact that he tried to go out and save the person and the only other person who did that was Jack I like that aspect of him the fact that he does seem to care about people he just seems very young and like inexperienced in the way to go about it so I like that but I don't know I also kind of struggled with Jack in this episode although I, I do think that he he came around and he redeemed himself with being like you know what actually like please stop this and then saving Sawyer um later but I think that here's the thing yes Jack frustrated me at moments in this episode and the choices he were he was making were frustrating but again he's also allowed to be a three-dimensional character that's flawed and not perfect and that gets upset and that gets angry and lashes out because they are two weeks trapped on a fucking deserted island um possibly deserted possibly inhabited we don't know um but yeah so i i think i also have to give him leeway for that that maybe in the moment of watching the episode it was more frustrating but sitting here in the post episode I can be like you know what I understand you're two weeks on an island Jack is not far removed from the death of his father so he's still grieving that and then also on top of that they're all still grieving this idea of the life that they had and then on top of that they all still probably have some form of shock or post-traumatic stress going on and are dealing with that so they're none of them are going to be the best version of themselves right now especially with all of the different nuanced layers of trauma that they're dealing with and so Jack in particular like I feel like I was frustrated but also maybe it was unfair of me to be so frustrated with him because I do think that he is a good person and he does care and he does try to help everybody and I do really like Jack and I should allow him to have just moments of being a flawed character because no character is perfect and no person is perfect and it just kind of makes him feel more real especially again with like the the trauma of it all in particular for him because he's also dealing with the trauma of the fact that his father died right before he got on the plane you know so I don't want Saeed to leave and to like explore the island unless it means that we also get to still see him and like follow him and explore the island with him and see the things that he discovers and like follow his journey I understand why he felt the need to leave because you know he didn't want to become this person uh, he he never wanted to do the things that he had done during the war again right like he just it's not who he wants to be and so facing the realization that he is capable of that was you know it was scary for him and I think that he wants to put as much distance between the that what causes him to be the worst version of himself and what he feels you know will cause him to be the best version of himself and will cause him to be able to actually help people so I respect that he 
left for those reasons and I respect that he's trying to be a version of himself that he can respect and that he is comfortable being um so I'm glad that he left for that reason but again I just don't want to lose Saeed as a character because I really really like him so I hope that we follow him even though like yeah he tortured Sawyer in this episode and that was kind of fucked up and it was kind of fucked up that he jumped to the conclusion of it but it's again it's because Sawyer has been antagonizing him he's been picking at him he's been pushing him and prodding him being a fucking asshole to him this entire like seven episodes prior to this one and so it makes sense with that and with Locke being like you know maybe it was Sawyer um that Saeed would react that way but yeah I, like I said I'm just I'm I'm glad that he was able to see that that was not a good reaction and that he was able to distance himself can you stop from doing from becoming the person that he doesn't want to become I really liked seeing Sun uh communicate with Michael and being like I can help Shannon and I can help her like be able to breathe if you get me x y and z um I can create a sort of like I don't know something that is like an inhaler what are you doing can you not can you stop something that is sort of sorry Sam is attacking the couch and it's very distracting to me but I like that Sun was able to create the medicine and that she was able to communicate with Michael in order to create the medicine and that even though it was kind of despite what Daniel Daycamp's character who I think you guys have told me his name is Jin um even though it was against what he wanted that she was now he's attacking my headphones that she was able to be able to help and also it's good because they needed a long-term solution because Boone said like oh she has these uh, these inhalers or these refills for her inhalers that should last for like four months and I know that they're thinking like oh we're gonna get off the island it's gonna be fine like as long as it lasts long enough for somebody to rescue us um, we're good but I mean also they know that there's no rescue at least Shannon does. Does Boone? I can't remember. You know what I mean? So like you need a long-term solution because when you run out, what are you going to do? Now we know eucalyptus and um, sun can help. So that was really good. And I just like seeing more of her. I like seeing her smile. I think she's, Sammy, you need to stop. Uh, I just think that she's a really fun character to learn about and I like her so I'm glad to see more of her. I like Charlie and Claire and their peanut butter interaction and just their interactions in general. I think that they are cute and I could definitely see myself shipping it. But yeah, I think that that's all that I really have to say about this episode. I mean, I could go off, I could go on more about Sawyer and you know, the fact that he was a child when all of this happened so like the trauma of it and then you know he was also in a situation where he owed money and then he created the pattern that he had seen in childhood even though it wasn't a good pattern and then he kept creating that pattern or kept uh reiterating that pattern until ultimately it seems whatever happened like it seems like he just walked away because he saw a child and the child was the ramification which he didn't know about um, I'm assuming that he had done it only to couples without children in the past or he just had never come face to face with a version of himself you know uh, I'm also curious as to like what the guy at the bar that he was talking to like what would have happened because he not only didn't get their money but left his money there which was like $150,000 so that's a lot that's a lot of money and he was supposed to have doubled it for that guy um, and that's just not what happened so curious curious as always I want to know everyone's backstory and I want to know the entire depth of it not just <laughs> a tiny flash of it like we're getting but 
yeah, I think that I am going to stop rambling at you guys for now. Thank you so much for watching if you are. Um, if you've watched this far, uh, thank you. Um, I'm sorry I rambled so much. Uh, if you want, you can watch the next episode right now over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube, as well as my entire full-length reaction to this episode. That is over on Patreon as well. It is linked in the description down below. Yeah, that is all for now. I cannot wait to watch more Lost as always and to learn more about all these characters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Bye guys. Okay, I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the show. I'm obsessed with the show. Maybe I can just get like 10 episodes ahead and get something wrong and you guys won't get too upset about it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>